um hello hi everyone hello friends welcome back to my channel <laughs> um today i have a bunch of shit right here and all over my bed and i'm gonna tell you all my favorites of all the time ever these are my favorite products i don't know how else to say it. I'm, I'm gonna tell you about my favorite products let's do it all right, so I kind of just separated these things kind of into like my makeup and I guess like my essentials, kind of like everything in general. But we're gonna get started with these two. These two are my fucking favorite combination. I feel like together they work really well. I buy these two together at Macy's for like 40 bucks, which is a fucking steal. So there y'all have it. So right now I'm using this as my foundation, which is weird, right? Contour highlight retouch. I don't know what the fuck. Born this way multi-use sculpting concealer. And I use it as my foundation because um my foundation is a little bit too dark on me right now. It worked fucking perfect and is not too heavy like on coverage. So I loved it and it stayed on really fucking well. Like it looks good still. Um, I'm using this Tarte um, concealer right now. I fucking love it. I love it. I love it. Tarte concealer never fails me. It's just one of those things that I will forever go back to. I try to get away from it and I just can't. Like why, why am I going to like take that away from myself? Why am I going to deprive myself from things that I deserve, you know? Okay, because I love blush. A bitch loves blush, all right? I have this blush palette by e.l.f. Um, it comes with these colors. Bro, these colors are so fucking beautiful. I mix them together. I use them by themselves. I think they're the most beautiful thing ever. And I love that it comes with a big-ass mirror. Did you see that mirror? I know you saw that mirror. It's a big-ass mirror. This um fucking blush is a Too Faced blush. I bought this a long time ago, y'all. This has been in my makeup collection for years. And not too long ago, I picked it up and I was like, why the fuck? It's been like three months. I was like, why the fuck haven't I used this in so long? I love it. It's so good. So I've been using it lately. I hear stuff. Anyway. I love this bronzer by Too Faced. This is this the Sun Bunny bronzer. It looks like this. This is my setting powder. So this is the Smooth Operator, right? Yeah, by Tarte. This is what it looks like. And I fucking love it. It makes my, my foundation set so beautifully. I love it. I want to say for at least most of 2019, this palette these palettes made it through all of 2019 with me because i made a look in january with them and they've been in my makeup bag since and this one since like i went to edc i love these i always have to have them when i go to a festival when i go to a show these colors and they're oh my god those glitters they like so foiled like they're like shimmers this is a collaboration um, between Bretman Brock and uh, Colourpop, and it is bomb. I love it. It's so good, y'all. Another thing that I have to have for festivals is definitely my Moonchild palette. This is my highlighting palette, and it just looks so angelical. It looks so fucking beautiful. The colors, like, I just love it. I have to have it. This is my favorite highlight. It's these little glitters by Colourpop. This is from the Bretman and Colourpop collection. This is OMG I'm Wet. And this is called Puff It. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm trying to show y'all. And this is what OMG on what looks like. If you can't tell, it has like little stars too. This shit is fucking dope. I love wearing this in my inner corners. I love wearing it everywhere. I am a like beauty hair supply lash whore. I love lashes from the hair supply because they're like $5. They look fucking long. Like... Not everybody likes them. This is very like an acquired taste, but I like to be extra when I go to like festivals and like really everywhere I go, I'm fucking extra. So these lashes, I just found them at the hair gallery in Dallas. So if you're in the Dallas area, you're fucking welcome, bitch. I am a lip gloss whore. Um, this is actually one of my favorite brands of uh, like lip glosses. I love plumping lip glosses just because they feel good on my lips. I don't know. I don't really think that they plump my lips. 
but this uh, shade is actually discontinued. This is uh, Soap and Glory, uh, the Sexy Mother Pucker. I love these lip glosses. They're so good. They're like $11. This Pout Bombs, oh my god. Look, I'm gonna show you the clear one because this is like orgasm. These are from Makeup Revolution. You see how? Ugh. I love it. And it, they're just so fucking good. They're super sticky. Oh, I love it. All right, let's get started with the next part of this video, which is like just in general shit. Uh, shampoo and conditioner, this brand, Moroccan Oil, it's so good. We used to use it on clients at my, lot, at my last salon all the time. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if it'll work for me. It sure does. It smells so good. I absolutely fucking love it. So this dry shampoo is uh in charge of cleaning my scalp this is what like absorbs all the oils it smells pretty fucking good and it kind of lives like leaves like a little white film so you have to like rub it whatever but i feel like your hair kind of looks ashy after that's just how i feel so i go in with this this kevin murphy bedroom hair this is dry shampoo but it has like a sheen to it and it has and it adds volume right it's the key there's a really fine line between the volume and the sheen so i feel like you gotta apply from afar because if you apply from too close it just kind of like makes your shit look oily when you do it from far away that gives you hella volume so that's what i do for volume and a little bit of sheen after i use this one and that's my routine for dry shampoo then i go in with this dry conditioner from amika I got this from my last salon as well. This is a dry conditioner and it is so freaking bomb. It smells really good and it just kind of makes my hair super soft and I like it because I feel like dry shampoo kind of makes your hair a little bit hard. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I have this Tanologica tan mousse. This is like a self tanner. It comes with this pump. It's just a mousse. Like, how do you make it work? like that <laughs> and um yeah you just put it on your body wait for hours it fucking works i really fucking like it um my one of my favorite masks max um i like to use these two together not together but i will always do the ma the green matcha tea japanese matcha tea what the fuck where am i coming up with these names this is a body shop Japanese matcha tea and I'll put this on my face right after like I wash it and I'll put this bitch on and then I will rinse it after it's done and I will go in with this. This is a British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask and I like the way it makes my skin feel after. I don't know if it actually does anything for it but you know one can only fucking hope. Then we have the Jet Lag Max by Summer Days, Summer Fridays. Bitch, get it together. So we have the Jet Lag Max by Summer Fridays. This is a hydrating mask and it comes in this tube that just like gets ugly, man. And um, I wear this when I fly or when my skin feels really dry. And it's a bomb and you can wear it underneath your makeup i like to do this in my brazilian area because sometimes a girl gets ingrown hairs and you can't do anything about it but help them come out so you mix this with a little bit of apple cider vinegar and um you put it in your brazilian area and you let it dry and then you get in the shower you exfoliate and it should help um dry out the areas where there's ingrown hairs and soak out like if there's like irritated ingrown hairs it works i don't know for me it does what where, where did this come from interesting a little bit of a tea tree oil moment from the body shop it doesn't really matter where it's from this is just because i just kind of it works this is the banana bright eye cream from ola Henriksen. this is what it looks like this shit is bomb i put it underneath my eyes like after rave days when i'm like on a three-day fest and bitch you can't even tell that i was rocking out cracking out at five in the morning 
but I was. And so I love this. I use it all the time, not just in festivals, but um, I like it and I actually put it on top of my eyelids just because I feel like it helps. And I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Uh, I use it on my smile lines just because I feel like if it helps the little skin underneath the eyes, but wouldn't it help the skin on your under line under your smile lines just wrinkles? I don't know. I like it. It makes me glow. This is Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. It comes in one of these jars with like you scrub you scrub some out and you put it on your face and then you take it off with the tissue or with like a towel or whatever. And I really like this because it removes glitter so easily. Eyelash glue, gone. Glitter, who is that? Bitch, gone. So this got you, girl. And it lasts a long time. Like, it's lasts a fucking long time. So here I have my little thigh deodorant. Look, it comes like this. You wet it. You wet this part. And you rub it. You could rub it on your underarms which I don't. I use this for my Brazilian area when I get ingrown hairs. Mm -hmm. This dries them out. And um, I don't know how it happens, girl, but it does. <laughs> That's what happens. You, you gotta try it. That's all I gotta say. I got this from Sugar Streak. Sugar Streak is where I actually go get my Brazilian sugared because I don't do waxing because they burn me all the time and it fucking hurts. They have this lavender moisturizing lotion, so they advise for you to exfoliate and then moisturize every day. That's what you do because that's what they tell you to do and it works and it smells like lavender. Mmm, girl. It smells so good. Like, I want to eat my cookie. This is the Body Shop Body Butter. Wow, what a mouthful. I like put it up for y'all to smell it, but it smells so good. This smells like my childhood. This smells like when I would open my trunk full of Barbie dolls. I don't know why, but it does. And I really like it, and it really moisturizes my skin, and the mango one smells even better. This is also one of my favorites of the whole entire year. Oh, I love it, you guys. This is so cool. I carry it everywhere. I love this little handle because, like, I don't have to worry about, like, holding it. Like, my hand is free, you know? And it keeps my drinks cold. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And I put all my stickers on it. Oh, very last but not least, uh, we're going to go into a fragrance because a bad bitch got to smell good, okay? First, I have this little roller ball. Reason I have a roller ball is because this um this specific fragrance kind of gives me PTSD and I still can't decide whether it's good or bad. But it reminds me of my time in Europe when I was 17. I think I was 17. And um I don't know how I feel about it, but I like it. So I bought a little roller ball, but it's just kind of sometimes it doesn't sit well with me. So I have to be in the mood for it. Like, I have to wake up one day wanting to smell like this. We have Dolce & Gabbana. This is a uh, blue, light blue. Bitch, I've been smelling like this since my sophomore year. I love this. This is like the OG. The Janelli OG. If you know, you know. Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This little bitch, ooh, she smells important, okay? Yeah, like this smells like a rich old lady. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I like her, okay? Is that my dog crying? Okay, I'm so alone. And here we have Good Girl by Christina Herrera. Ooh, I was gonna like make y'all smell it. But look at how cool this is. Honestly, I've gone through this bottle so fast. I don't know like why, but oh, oh my gosh. I want to smell like this every single day of my life. I think that concludes my favorites of the fucking year of last year because now is like January and I'm a procrastinator. So get on that train, bitches. Y'all already know what it fucks with. Let me know what you fucks with. And thanks for fucking with me and watching my video. See you on the next one because I'm going to keep doing this shit, okay? Peace out. <laughs>